We've just heard about keeping our railways safe, but what about keeping our airspace safe? And no, I'm not talking about airplanes, but rather a new and ever-growing emerging threat. And of course, I'm talking about drones. These little contraptions have been responsible for shutting down entire airports, and they are only going to become more and more popular in the coming years. That's where ArtSys360 comes in. They've developed technology that can detect and track drones via radar and video camera. And here to tell us more about it is Mayo Zorea, Chairman, Business Development, and Co-Founder at ArtSys360. Welcome. Hi. Nice meeting you. So let's jump right in. Can you tell me about ArtSys360? What exactly do you do? Uh, first, we are, we are a spin-off of the Israeli Technion, which is like MIT. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, one of the three founders invented the technology, patented by the Technion. They are investors in us, and we are actually a spin-off. And we have uh, developed a, some, a, a radar. Radar is basically military technology. Mm -hmm. and, and in essence, uh, there is very good products in Israel. I mean, Elta, IEI is one of the leading Iron Dome. Uh, but now we are facing something which is more civilian, I would say, commercial level. And th there is a need to, for whatever technology, which is drones, which is going to become more and more popular, more, more and more versatile in terms of usage, uh, that come threats. And the, the threats can be because uh, paparazzi, you know, illegal video, mm -hmm. can be used for smuggling, which is actually happening already with the airports and into prisons. And of course, can become a terror, uh, terror usage. I mean, you can send a drone with five kilos of something, you don't need to have a, an explosion with, with a, a suicide bomber. So you need to, be, to, uh, to have technology that will be able to protect you. So protection means detection, tracking, and mitigation, to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so we have developed something in, in this essence. So can we talk a little bit about the technology behind it? You said that you are a spin-off of the Technion, one of the top universities in Israel and the world. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about the technology itself, the patent behind it. So radar, if you look at Iron Dome, for example, you see that the most important or most difficult part to develop in the Iron Dome is the radar because it has to detect real-time missiles, several missiles you see that recently, unfortunately, in Israel, and you need to, to direct something to collide. Very complicated technology. And military means that price is not the first uh, consideration bring me a very good product and whatever the price is, because mm -hmm. it's life and death. Right. We're talking about commercial environment, for example, prisons and airports and uh, power stations and buildings, etc. And in this case, if you need to build a system, it must be, it, it's, it's under a constraint of, of budget. Mm -hmm. So it's not for everything, you know, and there is a, a limited amount of money that you can invest in that. So we uh, took a unique technology from the Technion, one of the founders invented mm -hmm. it, Ares, and this was used to develop a very low cost, very efficient 363D micro radar. Mm -hmm. Just to give you an example, we're talking about in, in a scale of one to 10 costs. So radar can be 400, half a million, a million dollar radar. We're talking 300, 330,000, 40,000, 50,000. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's one to 10. Mm -hmm. And because of that, you can start using it in areas that are that got budget constraints compared to, to locations that cannot afford that. Can, can, so this, we developed something very unique in terms of radar. But we didn't stay with it because at the end of the day, what you need is a solution, is a system. Mm -hmm. So we have a radar that is doing 24-7 uh, detection. Once it, there is detection, it directs into the target that approached us, uh, video camera and thermal camera, and it's doing like a second detection mm -hmm. and tracking. So now we, we look at the target and we track it. And then we can uh, evoke uh, some kind of something to do. For example, we can send a drone that would do uh, acquisition of the, of the target, so can follow the target, can uh, jam the target, can there's several things that are now evolving. We are actually in the middle of the development, but at the end of the day, we can supply a full-scale solution. And drones are difficult to track, if I'm not mistaken. Extremely difficult. For, the, for, for just an example, if you track a, tr uh, a car, mm -hmm. Uh, compared to a person, it's one to 100 in terms of size. If you take a person compared to a drone, it's well, again one to 100. So actually you are looking for something that, if you look at a drone with your eyes for in 200 meters range, you don't see it. Right. So it's very, very difficult to differentiate between what is a drone and what is a bird and what is just some leaves moving. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult to develop it. And after five years of development and a couple of millions of dollars in investment as a startup and the ecosystem of Israel 
with startups. I think we've done something remarkable. And now we finish development, sort of, because there is never, you never finish, mm -hmm. but there is already a, a product and we are starting now a deployment. A very, very uh, nice uh, solution that people are coming from all, all over the world to, to, to buy from us. And so what industries are you working with right now? Uh, I can give you two or three examples. I think that that would be, first of all, for example, we have uh, uh, people from Italy came to us because they're being, they've got very, very large acres of acres of uh, plantations mm -hmm. of uh, avocado and uh, pomegranate and things like that. And at night, somebody is coming and stealing the, the crops. So they are looking for a solution that will detect uh, somebody at night coming with a car, people walking, and sometimes the drones coming to do, um, I would say, surveillance before. Mm. So they looked at everywhere and came to us, and we are now in the process of uh, installing about two systems with 20 radars, with thermal cameras, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So something that we talked to them and they said, listen, we looked at everything, we couldn't afford other solutions. The second thing, we are now in the process of a tender with a very large airport in uh, Eastern Bloc, in Eastern Europe, uh, an airport that uh, we will probably sell something like 10 radars. You know that closing down a, a, an airport costs a million dollars an hour. Wow. So, so drones are there. Sometimes it's not malicious. Sometimes it's somebody just doing, you know, By recreation accident. drone. You yeah. know? And, and so we need to have kind, kind of solutions. So airports, uh, agriculture, power stations, etc. This is where we are going. Mayor Zoria, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Appreciate it. Enjoy it.